welcome to the, the latest edition of the Stealth Kayaks fleet. A few months ago, we obviously launched early, late last year, the Fisher 555. We just haven't had a chance to obviously get onto what we would call a, a walkthrough video of the kayak, just to show people what it, what it has and, and a little bit more about the Fisher 555. But basically, the Fisher 555 materialized from a few people asking for a kayak with that little bit extra stability. So if you're an angler who's looking for something that's got the most stability around, the Fisher 555 is, is the right one for you. The kayak itself has a little bit of a more pronounced rocker, making it surf and ride the waves a little bit better. So what we tried to do is sort of more incorporate a kayak that is suited for, for the novices or the guys entering, them, enter, entering the kayak fishing market that are a little bit unsure about a bit of everything. So, so if you're worried about the surf, surfability, 555 is great surfability because of the pronounced rocker. Obviously the length being 555, the extra length gives still got a lot of speed. Some of the reports out there from the guys are saying that you know, the 555 is as fast as anything in the range. Maybe not obviously the 575, but, but even though it's wider, it still has a lot of speed to compare to like the 525. So with the extra width it's still, and length, it still has the speed that you need. The kayak itself is, is pretty much standard like, like throughout the range. So what you'll do is you'll run through it quickly, we'll show you the features and then yeah, you can make up your mind for yourself and maybe if you ever get a chance, you can give it a whirl and test it out. So we start with the front being a, a double bung system. As most of you know, the, the front bung or, or drain hole drains the kayak as a whole. The, the, the second drain hole drains just the fish hatch or the central hatch, okay? We have our, our custom made nice molded handles, nice and comfy, nice and strong, easy to carry the kayak. Then we move back to the paddle. The paddle rubber and the paddle elastic, standard like in all our kayaks, simple to put your paddle under when you're fishing, keeps the paddle out the way uh, when you're angling. And we move back to obviously our standard adjustable pedal system. One of the features of the 555 is the actual, what we would call a leg length. This is the longest leg length in our, in, in our range. So for the really tall guys, some of the guys, you know, six foot five, six foot six will still fit comfortably fit in this. The distance from there to the pedals, on the maximum setting is a lot longer than any of our other kayaks. The downside obviously, unfortunately, is for the really short guys, is obviously that this area is still a bit longer because the pedals have been shifted forward. So the standard adjustable pedal system with the easy to adjust system where you release the shock cord and adjust the pedals. Okay. Standard fish hatch lid, which now over the, over the last couple of months and year, we've obviously standardized so we have one fish hatch lid across the range. This also allows you to interchange your, your fish finder lid with the, with the standard lid. A drag handle, what we call the drag handle for when you're going in and out of the surf, easy to drag down to the water. Carry handle, the fisher has a carry handle on both sides, left and right, so if you want to carry it, you can lift it up like this, you can go to the other side, lift it from both, both those handles, pretty simple. The triple five also has the you know, what we call a rod elastic underneath here, so you can put the butt of your rod in there. Keeps your rods up. You can even use the loops of Velcro on the side to keep your rods out the way. So if you're lucky enough to land some fish, fill your hatch. You can still keep the rods above and out of the way of the fish, and keep, hopefully keep the reels quite clean. Then we have the the new integrated live well, which obviously comes standard on all our kayaks now. This live well has a clear lid, which allows you to see in there if you have a couple of tasty live baits. The system itself runs off natural flow of water, so an inlet and an outlet. As long as you're moving, floating, fresh water comes in and out of the live well. So the live well itself doesn't need any pumps, doesn't need electronics. Very, very simple system and it can cater quite a, lot of, quite a large number of baits. Then you're back to your rod holders. Standard two trawling rod holders with uh, plastic saddles to secure your rod leashes. The rear dry hatch. Okay, the access in this one, standard, has a screw and hatch lid. You do have the option of a folding lid, but like we say in our range, the folding lid is actually an add-on or an extra. You can order the folding lid. The rear hatch itself is a lot bigger. Because we've taken away a little bit of the space from under the seat, like in the traditional kayaks, this rear drywall is now from the back of the seat to all the way to there, and it's quite wide. So from what was used to be a small round pot is now sort of almost three times the size. So the space that you lose under the seat, you now have in the, in the rear storage hatch. Then we move back to the two upright rod holders for your spinning rod, your popping rod, for the 
plastic saddle to secure your rods, it just keeps the extra rods out the way. A little bit of rear elastic, maybe you want to keep your life jacket when you're fishing there or you want to just keep something on the back deck, you can store it on the elastic. The access to the rudder system, like in all the kayaks and of course at the rear uh, plastic molded handle for carrying down to the beach. And that's basically the new triple five, the features or we'll say the walkthrough features of the kayak. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy.